Welcome back to the world of the pier. The story thus far is that the false sun crew, stuck in some sort of time loop, have uh, used their second time on the cycle to attempt to save the sheriff and fail. Uh, though they did learn that he survives, at least uh, at the point that they found his pool of blood. Uh, knowing that now that it is caused by his leg being caved in by the mining automatons. Um, the earthquake seems to happen at noon and causes a couple casualties, including an elven child uh, whose name they learned was Dusk, the little girl who's walking the dog, um, and daughter of the innkeeper. They learned that there is a potential ally in the jail cell, uh, though it's a tenuous allyship as she is a member of the Harvester's Guild and is worried that the False Sun crew might be encroaching on her contract. And they learned that the town gets completely obliterated at midnight when some kind of beast of spikes, wings, and giant beams uh, comes from just under the clock tower and destroys everything. And you are... Standing in the walls of the, uh, in, in the walls of the, of Cogston, with Levere, uh, hold, uh, shaking the hand of the merchant, uh, the clock, the grand, the broken grandfather clock has just ticked down to ten. What do you do? Well, that is one way to sober up. Oh yeah, a couple of y'all ended up uh, taking some of those uh, cactus fruits. And they're all back in what? my pocket, what? baby. What? Yep. <laughs> it felt that good since 89. 89 of what century? <laughs> Look out of the one. <laughs> 89 I don't think we're, was... I don't think we're 289 yet. 89 was, like, 40 years ago. <laughs> we're, we're in the year, like, 20. 89, <laughs> I think, is, like, a couple years after the events of the thing. 31 years ago. What? 31 years ago was 89. We're, aren't... Isn't the events of the, um... The, the time good. loop in 87, though? 97. Or was it 97? I mean, seven. Seven. Yeah. 81 or 89 is like the time the vampires started becoming a major threat. Sushi is just going to start assuming that Katya is like 300 years old <laughs> and has never had anything not confirm that. <laughs> oh, TK, can, can you speak up a bit? You're a little quiet. It's okay, sorry, I'm like sauteing some stuff. Oh. Yeah. Right. <coughs> so, she's... Well, anyway, perfect that you assume otherwise. <laughs> Alright. So, what do y'all do? Oh, uh, that was interesting. I... Uh, well, after I, we all, all of you died, <laughs> I saw what came out. Ooh. And? What was it? What was it? I mean, I don't know what it was exactly. It wasn't exactly like a dragon, <laughs> but it was kind of scaly and it suddenly had like wings and it was huge and had like right. um, spikes and stuff. Oh, speaking speaking of scalies, 
And the okay, trouble laser beam. Water. That guy it yeah. shot it stuff quick. out. Um, d does Razor know what kind of like damage that that uh, thing did? Or uh, roll Arcana. Arcana. Okay, okay, that's a plus. Uh, twelve. Uh, you don't know. Uh, you were a little distracted by the blinding pain as you got hit by the beam twice. I don't know what kind of damage it did, but um, I got hit by it twice, and it really hurt. Yeah. Did it feel like were you moving? How's the merchant reacting this whole time? By the way, is he just standing there holding, like holding my hand? Yeah, he's waiting for you to let go, but he's still smiling, not paying much mind. Uh, actually, roll insight. I. Lavier just like forgets to let go and just spends the entire conversation just like. Mm. Hold on, I had to open the sheet. Also, roll Let perception. That oh come on, that was a seventeen. Fuck you. <laughs> a seventeen for insight. Well, it no. would, it was supposed to be. It was cocked. More on 17 than 3, but guess what I got? A 3? Yeah, so that's a total 2 insight because the fucking thing's stupid. <laughs> fucking 22 perception. The... Alright, the, uh... The merchant is hard to read. Uh... He's <coughs> obviously putting on the face of a merchant. You know, trying to make a sale and stuff. Trying to keep that, uh... Chipper attitude. And it makes it really difficult to read any, like... True intentions, other than the general vibes of a sketchy salesman. Uh, with your perception, though, you do notice that um, there is a hand in your pocket, uh, the pocket with the lizard in it, and you look and see that Sushi is trying to take the lizard from your pocket. Okay. Oh. Oh, you weren't yeah, listening I, to me. I keep forgetting. Uh, I'm gonna let go of the guy's hand. I want to try to reverse pickpocket the lizard into the happy salesman bag or something. I want to give him the lizard and see what happens. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I sell things. I don't buy them. At least not from unvetted sources. Um... <laughs> Katya's been, like, eyeing the salesman, and she rolled a 22. Alright. Um, the salesman does not seem surprised to with the stuff you are saying. Mm -hmm. Take that as you will. This sucks. I know. I, I I look at the merchant. I know you know that this sucks. I look to the rest of the crew. This sucks. But I need to get to that dungeon. Yeah. I know. Uh, I'm I know. gonna keep wiggling the the lizard at the merchant. Oh, this is Lavir is respectful when he holds the lizard. Lavir holds the lizard like a burger. Sushi <laughs> is not respectful. Sushi holds the lizard like a hot dog. The lizard seems fine in your hand. <laughs> like, normal. Blinks one eye at a time. Seems... <laughs> as it usually does. I love and hate this lizard. <laughs> oh! Don't forget, don't forget. We did theorize about what it is he wants. The lizard? No, the merchant. The vial. The lizard wants the vial? No, the merchant wants the sushi. Why are we having this conversation about what the merchant wants in front of him? I've told you what I want. It is just a flask of a golden colored fluid. It smells a bit like oranges. That should be enough information for you to locate it. Oh, you yes. You cannot find it, any liquids. 
It, it it it's been it's been pong. Pong. You know. Pong. Past past tense of ping. It's a past ping tense of pong. ping. Pong. Pong. No, ung oh. with a u with a u. Are you sure no, you don't pong. mean ponged? <laughs> no, that would be the past tense of of pong. Isn't it ping? Don't you just ping pong? Damn. No, no, I'm saying the past tense of ping. Any, anyway, we we are aware pinging. of the approximate look. It's just getting down there. That's the issue. Well, uh, I have, as I said before, I have the most faith that you'll be able to figure out a way down there and get it. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, before. Uh, Katya's gonna try to like. Before Katya's what? Gonna cast charm person on this guy. That is a bad idea. That's a you very can bad idea. certainly try. Okay. <laughs> Look at this man. He's oozing with charisma. Well, like. He knows something. Hold on. Uh, Lavere's like, Lavere's just like, this is a bad idea. He's I mean, too charismatic. You can try. Like, I will allow it. I am fairly certain this is some <laughs> kind of devil or fey creature. I don't think it's human. <sighs> oh, Alright, she's... well if you guys want to look for cool <laughs> But are you are you doing it? Are you casting charm person? No. You you can try I mean, we didn't stop you in character because we we couldn't tell that you were doing it. Yeah, it's just us in in oh, okay. out of I... character saying probably not a good idea. Because even if he, even on the off chance that he's not human, he could still be with the with the Merchant's Guild, and we don't want to be on the Merchant's Guild. Oh, I don't th yeah, side. no, I don't think the Merchant's Guild is. It, the Merchant's Guild isn't Ooh, racist. That was a they don't roll. care if you're a, a, a fae. Does, uh. <coughs> does a 26 save? I didn't cast. Was the 26? What? You said. A... I thought you were. I'm confused. Sorry, you said you wanted to. Uh, okay. She wanted to. We said it's probably a bad idea. She decided again. I mean, you can still cast it if you want. Never mind. Okay. All right. Okay. Sorry. I just it's I don't fine. Know what else to do? No, you're fine. You're fine. I I will I I do allow a lot of things and that is something that you can try. It's it's fun. Okay. All right. All right. Are we ready to get back in there and try again on this thing? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, I'm going to I'm going to put the lizard in a hole. We got 10 more tries. Let's do this. What do you mean in a hole? I, I gonna dig a hole and put the lizard inside it so I don't have to bring him to the past and make him his, I his mean, tummy it's, dirty. It's stone. You're you're inside a wall. There, there, there's Give stone. Give me enough floor. time. I can bury through stone. Burrow through stone. <laughs> Sushi's <laughs> trying to dig. Her claws are scraping against the ground. The lizard Not crawls. Before you rip out a nail. Wow. Actually, let me roll a. <sighs> the lizard crawls into Katya's pocket as you're trying to dig. Katya pats the like lizard and puts it on. Five her minutes. Head. All right. Like oh. I guess the lizard uh, sat down, so that's fine. So we tricking okay. up the mines again. Do we want to deal with the robots, or are we gonna like sniff around the clock tower some more? Prison break. That was yes. the plan. Oh, boy. All right. Well, you know, I've got 
so much going on, I forgot. Let's go get that chick out of the. All right. So I can blow walls up. All right. As you uh, blow up a wall, sushi. As you go in, as you enter Cogston, uh, y'all notice like as soon as you cross the threshold into Cogston, that's when the <laughs> lizard starts to have a change in expression to discomfort. Um. Oh no, he's gonna puke and cut his hair. <laughs> You 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 know you got like a couple min minutes before the lizard's scheduled to puke. Yeah, but you can see it's as it's the same as you uh, every other time you entered. You see the two guards looking out out uh, across the wall. You can see the omnibus driver uh, is uh, just waiting at an omnibus stop. You can see Dawn walking her, or Dusk walking her dog. Sorry, Dawn is her mother. <laughs> uh, you don't get to make fun of my characters' names. I don't. I ask you what your characters' names are in, to make you freeze up because you haven't thought of their names. Maybe <laughs> make fun of them. Wondering, gonna wonder after <laughs> Dusk. Hi. Oh, how to there? Um, I noticed your leash. It looks like it's becoming a little frayed. Can I fix it for you? Oh, um, I, I get you're you're not gonna run off with my dog, are you? Huh? No, I'm gonna stay right here, and all I'm going to do is um use this neat little cantrip called mending. What's a and cantrip? And we're gonna stay right. It's a spell. What's a spell? It's a very low level magic. Magic? Like actual yeah. magic? Yeah, let me let me show you. We're just gonna cast mending on it and the yeah. leash is y gonna Yeah, you find yeah. like uh about halfway down the leash there is a point where it's become uh decently frayed. But as he casts mending, a the pieces weave back together and it becomes nice and uh taut and sturdy. There you go, just like Whoa, that. Whoa! You're a real magic hand, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so cool. Thank Ma you. My name's Dusk. Name's me, I'm Reja. Nice to meet you, Reja. I got you. Nice to meet you. Oh. Hello there. You be careful with that dog. The uh. weather is supposed to get bad today. Oh, uh, okay. If the weather's supposed to get bad, I'll probably won't stay out long then. Here, there might that's be a blizzard rolling in. Oh, that doesn't sound too good. That'll mess with the uh the the fireworks and that. Well, the clouds will do what they want, and we can try. What we, but not always can you be horrible. All right. Well, y'all have a nice hey, day. And she's she, uh, sneak off. Uh, Dusk uh, walks off to continue walking her dog. Though she's keeping an eye, an eye out on the uh, sky. <laughs> Katya figured telling her the weather might get bad would, like, be more believable than, like, hey, we know there's going to be earthquake because without seismology those things <laughs> tend to be unpredictable well y'all will have to wait and see <laughs> uh, has no one jail. invented seismology <laughs> the uh the jail cell was in the uh uh southern portion of central coxton i believe it'll take you about 10 to 15 minutes to get there by walking Though you can get to the street from, you can have the omnibus take you in like five minutes. Uh, to the bus. Let's hurry. <clears throat> yeah, we'll get the season pass out of the way. All right. Oh, hello there. Are you looking to explore the town? Uh, yes. All right. 
Well, it's a bit chilly out there, but uh, it's uh, two silver per person, though. Per five silver per, I can get you the uh, holiday pass, and that's good for any omnibus trips until the festival's over. So that's good up and th up through New Year's. All right, that sounds like a great deal. All right. Let's see this. <clears throat> Levere says with a somewhat strained smile. All right. Great deal. Uh, It'll be 25 silver for the five of y'all. All right. I hand over two gold and five silver. All right. Now, normally we'd only be able to fill out four people inside, but since if you, two of you are smaller than average clientele, you should be able to squeeze in there reasonably comfortable. I resent this. Okay. Uh, once y'all get in nice and comfy, this omnibus you've been in, this is the third time y'all have been in this one in particular. Uh, so, where are you headed to? Uh, town, town Square. Alright. Y'all come for the solstice celebration? He says as the, uh, uh, omnibus starts, uh, moving. Starts at midnight. It's got amazing fireworks. Eh, a little bit of the festival. Yes, got some business. Really good things about this oh. Uh, business on the holidays. That's always rough. Yeah. Eh. Whatever pays the bills. Yeah, let me say so. Uh, if as he uh, it, it takes only like five minutes to get to the town square. You can see the uh. Uh, you can see the jailhouses a couple blocks away from here, but this is a good place to depart without arousing any kind of suspicion. It's about, let's see, after talking to Dusk and riding the omnibus, it's about like 6.07. I'm going to the jail. Yep. Okay. All right. Are y'all trying to be sneaky about it or just it's casual? Or I, just... I can go in there and just get them and we can meet at the clock tower. All right. Sounds good. Okay, I don't want to... Yeah, Akatsu's pretty sneaky, she could much. help. I was going to turn invisible. Oh, okay. I can only do it, that Can you myself. out stealth invisibility? <laughs> okay, Are I will you meet the you guys there. Horn. All right. Yay. So, as you turn invisible uh, <laughs> and rush down the... Uh, how long does your invisibility last? Uh, concentration up to an hour. Okay. I'm going to need you to go ahead and roll stealth. Because you got here so early, there's not too many people out on the street yet. It's usually, it's around 6.15 when people actually start <laughs> filling out the square. Uh, so it's only that was a, a journey. It's only a... Yeah couple people I'm, out. I'm, I'm glad for the advantage, though. Because the first roll was a natural one. Oof. The <laughs> second roll was a natural 20. Okay. Yeah, of course. You take a couple <laughs> steps uh, with the you snow... You the vampire. You, you take a couple steps with the snow crunching under your feet and realize you're still leaving footprints, so using keeping that in mind, you uh, hop onto like various like barrels and boxes on the side uh next to buildings and use that as a way to not leave footprints in the on the sidewalk and you parkour your way uh across the building without leaving any footprints that wait would... i have an item for that yeah but you didn't join i i do literally have an item for that i the know dust of tracelessness yep but you didn't join in <laughs> you can still spread it on the, the like three foot steps <laughs> though if you want uh that's nah, fine but you eventually make your way to the uh jailhouse it takes like 
only a few minutes. It's six ten by the time uh, you get to it. It's it appears to be locked. Oh, let me try to pick the lock. All right, roll dexterity plus your proficiency. Mm. You're proficient in yes. diesel, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, I am. Uh, it's twenty-three. Oh yeah, no, this lock is a piece of cake. You uh, it, it takes like barely a couple seconds for you to pop it open. The door creaks open ever so slightly as you slip in. Okay. I'm trying to remember. Uh, I don't remember the person's name. They told us... It was Miranda. The... Yes, they told us where their stuff was. I wanted to go and grab their stuff first and then get them out. Alright. Alright. So, uh, there doesn't seem to be anyone here other than Miranda, who is uh, currently sleeping in the cell. Okay, I'm gonna go and find where their stuff is at. All right. Uh, it was in the uh the room where they keep evidence and confiscated belongings. Okay. Uh, you you've been there before, so you know where to look. Uh, but the okay. door is locked. Just unlock that. <laughs> All right. Twenty-seven. Yeah, you popped the lock. You, I don't remember who it was that uh, picked the lock before, but you've definitely seen the lock be picked, so you know exactly. It was me. Okay, you saw Levere pick it, uh, so you just mimic the same motions that he did. It just swings open uh, with a creak. Uh, all right. Go in and grab their stuff. All right, it is in a trunk that is locked. How many things to unlock? Okay. It's almost like this is one of the more <laughs> secure buildings in the town. <laughs> Natural 20. <laughs> uh, you saw... You saw Levere just, like, tap it on the side. I'm pretty sure this is the one that Levere just, like, tapped on the side and it popped I open. I also nat 20 on this one. Yeah. Yeah. So you just like, you just like smack, you just fawns smack it on the side. It just pops open, just like Levere did. Oh. <laughs> uh, stuff and then close it. You, yeah, you see the uh, components pouch. It wasn't even a very hard kick either. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as you close the, uh, as you close the door behind you. Um, you see that Miranda has woken up, she, and she says, "Who's there? No one. Us no one's supposed to be here until seven. Hello, it's uh, Raja. I'm here to get you out. Who? You're obviously new. Oh, we met. Well, I guess technically it was today, but it was last cycle. Well, no, I didn't." I don't think I met anyone named Rachel last cycle. Last cycle, I spent mostly trying to deal with Chardonnay. I mean, we're stuck in a time loop here, so... Yeah, I know. I, mean, I'm... I met... You. We met. You don't remember, but we met. And we're gonna all try and get out together. Well, where are you? We're just gonna open the... <laughs> cell door. She's invisible. Okay, uh, I need to get my components pouch. I already got it for you. Oh, shit. As you, uh, toss it to her, it becomes visible <laughs> as soon as it leaves your hand. <laughs> like, shit! And she fumbles to catch Jesus. Jesus fucking hell. I'm just gonna pop open the door. <laughs> Alright. With a... another oh. 27. Alright, I, I... Don't think I... I don't remember you, but also, I'm not really good with, uh, names, and well, I can't really see your face, because obviously oh, you're invisible. Yeah. Probably stay that way. Uh, yeah, thanks for uh, helping uh, me I'll, out. I'll if they, uh, came at around seven, and that's when they usually come, uh, yeah, then you, you asked that would have been... You asked us, um, 
asked you asked us to come and get you right away, and we just got here. So, um, everybody else is going to the clock tower. So we're what do you mean? That's where hold we're going. On. Next. I am. Hold on. I didn't really. I didn't talk to anyone from out of town last time. You say it's a different time loop. Different time loop. Yeah, but I would wouldn't I remember that? I don't know. Okay, whatever. All right. No, you see, what's happened is you're already out of the time loop, but we're in a different time loop. So you we're seeing the you that's Are you already there? gone. Are you there, no. Levere? <laughs> no, this is just me talking out of my ass out of character, remembering <laughs> that like that Tumblr yeah. post. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I don't know. It might be okay. different because you you start the time loop already here, but um, our group starts the time loop outside of here. Yeah, my time loops so. usually start outside. At least they did until that bastard fucking hell. Yeah. The, how many the, the, how, how many times dude? have you been here? Um, this is our third the... loop. I want to say. All right. But it's our second <sighs> time being in here and and meeting you. All right. Um, this is my thirteenth. I think you said that last time too. You've uh, been here for a couple years. What do you mean a couple of years? Okay, clock tower. I'm. Okay, you said clock tower. All right, I'll, I'll start yes, heading that way. Go. This is not a good place to be if we nope, are gonna stand here go, talking around. Yeah, she she starts running. <laughs> Uh, yep, I'm going with. Yeah, uh, she casts invisibility on herself and slips out the door. Uh, let's see. Oh, that is the wrong channel. Uh, I'm gonna keep an eye on where I. Well, I'm gonna use my eyes and ears to see if I see any footprints or hear anything. That way, I can keep. And I. So I have an idea. All right, of you see of where they are, <laughs> where they are. Uh, as she uh, goes invisible, you see like three footsteps in the snow uh, before the footsteps disappear. Because she also rolled a nat one before getting a, a dirty twenty. Uh, you can my passives. <laughs> What's your passive? Twenty-eight. Uh, you can still hear her jump like. Pretty much taking the same path you did, but in reverse. Just gonna uh, follow right behind her. Yeah, you're able to keep track of her uh, foot, uh, her footprints in the snow as she walks along the tops of like crates and stuff. Uh, just making sure to keep the footsteps off the, uh, uh, off of the, the sidewalk. You know, it's easier to notice a footstep, uh, a, a footprint in the snow on the sidewalk than it is on a crate. Mm -hmm. Um, all right. So, uh, at the clock tower, uh, we'll just say that you pick the lock and slip in without issue, because you've done it so many times. It's uh, not that big a deal at this point. You you've done it multiple times. You know how to get in. Um. So what have you been doing? It's about... I'd say it's 6.15 is when they uh, arrive at the clock tower. So you have a couple minutes before they get back. Katya's seeing if she could find, like, a secret entrance or something. Well, you do go find the keypad in the clock tower... Oh, yeah. Sushi has been sitting where they found. Uh, Don't enter anything on that keypad yet. Page. Sushi has been sitting where they found Sage sitting in the first time. So in, Sushi's in, out in the fountain. It, uh, you're sitting on the edge of the fountain. Mm -hmm. are you, important. Are you sitting on the edge of it, or are you sitting in the water like? A well, it'd be ice. The the water is completely frozen. This pause yeah, on still. the ice. You're sitting on the ice. Pause on the ice, sitting on the edge. Okay. Sitting on the edge, facing in. 
Okay. Alright. And you doing anything, Levere? Uh, just kind of sitting inside on the steps, waiting. Alright. I will remind you, uh, Miranda did distrust you once she saw your bag of colding. I'll put it in my jacket. Okay. Uh, Sushi, what's your passive perception? Oh boy, passive, passive perception... Um, 14. Okay. Well, you do not notice the uh, door to the clock tower uh, open slightly and close. Uh, my wisdom is my dump stat. Better than constitution being a dump stat again. My con was never my dump stat. <laughs> You're barred. It had above as a zero modifier. That yeah, doesn't matter. If it's your low. If it's your lowest, that's your dump stat. Yeah. Ah. All right. So, Raja, you and uh, you assume Miranda both uh, arrive in the clock tower. Uh, you can see that the uh, keypad is already flipped open, uh, though nobody is currently. Making any inputs. Hey guys! We're just gonna drop the invisibility after the door shut. Miranda also hey, oh. drops uh, her invisibility as soon as the <laughs> door shuts, too. Uh, We're here! Wow, you got a whole bunch of, you know, out here, or in here. Venturing mm -hmm. party. Hey, oh. Miranda, you know anything about this thing with buttons? Uh, I've tried a couple times, but I never figured out what uh, the password is. I think it might be yeah. today's date, like here, here. Live here? Hmm. You wanna try it? Well, I will remind you, you did try today's date last cycle. I thought we. Are you sure? Yes. Well, the first time the it solstice. just got screwed up, and then we did the solstice. But not no, we haven't, we haven't Oh, done <laughs> right, yeah. right, okay. We haven't done today's date yet, just uh, the solstice. Okay. Like the date of the solstice of this year, I guess. All right. So, today? I don't know. I mean, we haven't tried that one. I don't really have any other Do ideas. we know if we it's a day? Well, okay, before we push any numbers in, let me look at this thing. And, um, so Katya wants to, like, wiggle it in the light and see if she can, like, pick up, like, any visual traces of, like, oils from, like, fingers. Okay, uh, roll investigation. Do you have oh. anything to try and, like, make it easier to find? Um, mm. she, she can, can she use minor mm. illusion to create, like, a light, like, shine around it? Ye I I have a lantern. Okay, yeah. All right. All right. Uh Oh, wait. It requires it's a special lantern. It has it has a Well, I rolled a dirty 20. A dirty 20? Yeah. I've got a 15 and 5. I've uh, got matches. I give I you a, a match. Well, okay, you've got a normal lamp. Lavere has a ghost lantern. I have a hooded lantern. That's better for for normal stuff. Okay. A okay. restless spirit is trapped inside this lantern. Oh, is that the got a, lantern you got, got from Jewel? Yeah. <laughs> May, probably. The uh okay, so you said a dirty twenty to try and like see if any of the numbers are per are any more faded than the others? Yeah, or like fingerprints or something. Alright. Uh, worn as down, worn down keys, fingerprints, excess shine find, from oils. You do find one of the numbers is more worn down than the rest, but the implication seems to be that it seems to be a number that repeats in the yeah, code rather than. 
uh, rather than, like, you, you find the two is slightly more faded than the uh, others. And so well, the... it's got at least more than one two in it. Katya <laughs> is gonna try all twos. All right. Uh, before Don't you... feel great about that, but okay. Before you do, Miriam is like, wait, you only get one shot per cycle. The thing oh. locks down for the entire day if you get it wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Well hmm. then. I mean, there's probably some kind of override, but it'd likely be on the other side. Do we know? Do we have any idea of anybody in town could know can the Katya code? Can Katya cast Mage Hand to see if, like, she can make it unlock the door from the other side? You'd have to Would get it. Work? I think you have to be able to see where you're casting it. Okay. Yeah. Also, you don't know where the door is. Other th well, no, you you know that the door Wait. is un it, you know the door is like in the ground, but also oh. that it was thick enough that knocking on it didn't sound hollow. Knocking on the ground Ooh. did not sound hollow. Yeah, we've didn't we expose it last time? You did. We did expo we did expose it, so we know it's about like what, in, like the like kind of middle. Uh, no, no, it was uh, under the stairs. It's it, it was like uh, it, it was a wooden or not wooden. It was a uh, metal thick, um, a thick metal a heavy a heavy looking metal hatch in the floor. Yes, under the uh, under the stone uh, uh, under the cobblestone tiles. I'm gonna go to where we know that the door is. Is right below the keypad. Okay, well, uh, sli at the... slightly to the right of the keypad, actually. Looking at the ground mm -hmm. around where I know where the door is, do I see, like, missing grouts, perhaps uh, a thinly cut square? Uh, knowing what you know now, you do see that the, uh, uh, the tiles that are where the uh, hatch is does have uh missing grout alongside it all right okay so we know that the door is here and that it is actually accessible without removing the floor i would just need to figure out if and who do we know miranda you've been here longer than us yeah do you know Anybody that maintains the clock tower. Uh, probably the same one that maintains the uh, the automatons. Hmm. So then, I'm, so it's a probably a no go unless we try and get there as soon as possible. Yeah, but considering how long it takes to get through the mines, it's uh. I mean, going in there now, you'd get stuck in the earthquake and uh. Even if you survive the crushing rocks, uh, unless you grab one of the uh, breathing masks, it'll not be pleasant. I, I learned the hard way that there are uh, there are deposits of uh, toxic gases uh, deep in the huh. mines. Huh. If you we got crushed by rocks the first time. Honestly, that is preferable. I can tell you from experience that is preferable from the poison gases. Oh, and also, the gases are flammable. Oh. Yeah, no, it was uh, choking, I was vomiting, and... Uh, smelled of oh. sulfur, I just lit a flame and in the cycle right then there. Mm. At least for me. Uh, yeah. There, there is, is there a... Get through this? There is a place in the mines that does have masks. Uh... They're a uh, mass to deal with toxic fumes and all that. Uh, I think this is why mining is usually done by dwarves. Or the automatons. 
Well, yeah, the automatons, but I don't think there's too many dwarves around here. I don't think I've seen any. I think the omnibus driver was a dwarf, wasn't he? Or no, he was a halfling. He was a halfling. Yeah. Actually, you know what? We haven't seen a whole lot of dwarves. I, I We've seen like a total of maybe three. Like in the whole time we've all been together. One of them being our former wizard. Have you seen I guess the I guess they don't leave the mountains much. I don't know. I did some uh runs for uh a dwarven blacksmith up in the mountains once who needed a uh, fang of a basilisk. Hmm. But yeah. Uh Oh, I'm a member of the Harvesters Guild, by the way. Oh. I, uh, All right. Professional monster hunter. Pretty nice. Yep. This was supposed to be my uh, last one. It was supposed to get me enough to rest easy and uh, spend the rest of my days with my husband and little girl. Aww. That sounds so nice. Yeah. She's my precious little buttercup. And y you want to see her? She, oh, yes, please. she pulls out a locket, and uh, inside there is a uh, charcoal sketch of her, a uh, tiefling, tiefling man, and a little girl about two or three years old, who's also a tiefling. Um, all of them wearing Macretian clothing, uh, the uh, tiefling man having a... Um, Ha having a uh, sort of a scruffy um, a beard and some glasses. Uh, yep. Hey, wait, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. Tell me. Uh, From like way, way back. Baron yeah, had a drawing on. from that little girl, too, I think, if that's the same one I'm thinking of. Yeah, hold on, where's Control F? <laughs> Wait, the one from the original, when we got the Hunters thing? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, We're gonna make sure that you get home to them, okay? Ah, uh, yeah. Wait, hold on. Ho ho hold on, hold on. Um, what? Would your husband's name happen to be Mavis? Yeah, you met him. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. We 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 saw him in McCreer. I I lie. That's. Weird. We don't live in McCreer. Uh, I mean, we were talking about moving back once this was, uh, was done, but uh, we've got a nice little spot in uh, Nivrum. Nivrum, Nivrum. Where is Nivrum again? It's south of Medicto. All right. That's where we. That's where he, his shop was, wasn't it? Yep. <laughs> But uh, the beer just says in the most sketchy manner. Oh right, that's where we met him. For sure. Well, we're, up. we're thinking about moving back to his uh, into Vertigree. Maybe we saw him on a vi maybe he was visiting. Uh, I mean, probably not. I mean, well, he was a he does have a shop in Nivrum, and I would. Uh, sometimes uh, gather some materials for him to make. So he's uh really good at making things. Um, I'm I am from McCreer, but I have uh, magic blood, and that's why we uh, kind of moved. Oh uh, uh, yeah, McCre McCreer is pretty. Uh, it's not anti magic, but it's not really. There's no place for us to really 
learn magic and uh yeah and my my sweet little buttercup she uh also has my blood and that's why we wanted to get her someplace where she could uh have someone to teach her well, apparently hmm. that's fairly valuable blood yeah <sighs> Do you say that out loud, or is that out of character? It's out of character. I'm not in the room. True. You're outside still. Why are you still <laughs> I, outside? I, I'm waiting for them to come from the jail. Uh, Wait, so hold they, on. they walked over invisible. Yeah, well, um, you can hear, you have the earring, so you've been hearing everyone else speak. This is true. You could respond at us, and about half of us would hear you. You don't really have the, uh, context of what they're talking about. Well, maybe then Sushi does say that the blood was apparently valuable. The spell Where's Sushi? material. Sushi's Where's Sushi? at the fountain. I know, that... I was like, is she still... I, <laughs> like... There, is there like there's like a window on the door, right? You can creak the door open and see the fountain. All right. Into the earring. Sushi, get in the clock tower. Huh? Why? They I'm were invisible. For the other... They were invisible. Motherfuckers. Why are people allowed to be more magic than I am? Sorry, I'm Sushi back. gets because you're multi because you multiclassed. Just because I started my life with samurai training does not mean I don't deserve the same respect as any other spellcaster. But I miss no respect. Uh, no respect. Well, they learned uh, uh, that uh, Mavis is in fact Miranda's wife or husband. Okay, I thought so. Uh, we're just gonna take a look at the floor where the thing is supposed to be. And then she's gonna look at the keyboard again. Yeah. And, um... Gonna essentially do what Katya did, but she's gonna pull out... Um... Something to pour over top of it. To see if any more end up coming up with, like... Or like... I don't know, like incense or herbs or something finely ground. On the see if, like, keypad? Yeah. And see if anything gets like left behind on certain services that will stick more. All right. See if there are any more You're than just for that prints. one. Oh, okay. yes. dusting for prints. What are you yes. using to dust for prints? Uh, like fine. By the way, ground? Katya, uh, at some point the uh, lizard would have vomited in your hair. Oh, Katya remembered when. Okay, so you just held the lizard. Uh, outwards to it. That would have happened like 10 to 20 minutes ago. <laughs> well, I like, yeah. Okay. It's like a little bit of like incense or herbs. Oh, like like, like incense ashes? Probably got ashes and like sand from the smells. Yeah, like something. Yeah, I'll, I'll allow ashes. Uh, it'll lower the DC, so go ahead and roll. Ashes and is... to ashes. Investigation? Dust dust. Yes, investigation. Asses Oops. to asses, butts hey. to butts. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, nice. So an investigation that is a 21. 21. Alright. You find... That there are fingerprints on five of the buttons. It is. Make sure you write this down. I am. Zero, one, two, seven, nine. Those are the. I, I put them in numerical order to help you keep track of what buttons hmm. seem to have fingerprints on them. Okay, and there are... And it is a seven-digit sequence, right? Yep. Yes. 
with two okay. being one that ha being a number that has been that is present <laughs> more than once, at least multiple times. Yes, it's the most most likely. Okay. Um. So, do we know anything with these numbers? What's what's the date? Or is there like a date that we know? It's uh. 12-20-997, right? Yes, that is the current date. <laughs> the uh, number that you put in last time was 12-21-997. It... Oh, that's similar. The digits are all there, but the nine isn't as worn as the two. Then there's probably <laughs> nine. I'm sorry, you cut out. When what? was who? When was this place built? That might. When was Coxton founded? You don't know. Better not be a 700-year-old uh, establishment. I feel like they would have more amenities by now, if it was. Wait, didn't the, did the book that Levere read say when Coxton was founded? Uh, let me double check. I don't think so, just when it stopped... Uh, just when it stopped... Uh, being just when all communication towards it was in, uh mm. stopped. Mm. Yeah, no, it it didn't say when it was found. It just said that mm. uh uh it stopped trading in nine nine eight and it was uh bordered off in ten oh seven. Damn, it took them a whole decade to finally board it off. Well, there's a decade of trying to figure out what the fuck happened. <laughs> okay. May it okay, if the two is repeated more than the rest, it could be 122927. This place could be about 50 years old. I could see that. Does Coxton have a library? Uh, yeah. It'll open at an eight. Hmm. I think it's worth trying the library. <laughs> yeah, we'll meet back up here around, uh, nine or ten or so. Around, you know, like, nine thirty. We'll, we'll meet back up around ninth. What number did you say? Or the the code that I think might be it. <laughs> yeah. Twelve twenty nine twenty seven. Because perhaps Coxon was founded on this day fifty years ago. On this day. At this time. Wait. In this yes, lifetime. That's not. Yes, lo that's more localized than. In hold, on, hold on, sorry, the math. Not 50, 70. Yeah, I'm a dummy. Uh, that's I'm silly. That's what was throwing me off. <laughs> seventy years. Yeah, that'd be seventy seven, years. That'd be seventy years. It could be. Look, look, I'm. I've been through this thing Levere, a couple times. Yeah, so have I. Listen, Levere is known for traits other than his brain. I have an intelligence and wisdom score of nine. Oof. And that's why you are not known for your intelligence, my captain. You are known no. for your other traits. I'm known for my, uh, my sharp wit and speedy feet. You are known you for your big hat and large ass. I think I'm also known for the shine of my scale. 
When was the last time you actually shined your scales? You were tarnished for a while. I, I shined this morning. Like, this morning or this morning before you got into town? <laughs> this morning before I got into town. I, I've shined on the boat. Alright. I, I figured. I just didn't want to assume. <laughs> I mean, the scales around your eyes are, like, really shiny. I think that might be something from a dragon. What, a dragon gave you scale polish? You're a no, dragon? We... Yeah, sure, I'm a dragon. Dragon sleeping under a mountain. Rolls his eyes. I don't think it's a dragon, per se, but it's like... If you... Large reptilian type that suddenly... Where's Corvus? Got wings out of nowhere. Corvus? Should, should we start piling some of the... the, the... Keep the treasury in your bed. I already keep I already keep the treasury under my bed. <laughs> it just poked him in the tummy. Dragon. What is this dragon? Yeah. dragon? It's a dragon. You said it was reptilian. It was scaly. It bre It had a breath attack. It flew. That's a Lots dragon. of things have breath attacks. I mean, it looked bigger okay. than a dragon from what I it's saw. It's just classically giant flying. Oh, it's it was. It wasn't. A, I've seen dragons before. That did. That looked bigger. There's lots of different. And the guys. proportions looked a little different. Yeah, I, I, I gotta agree. I've seen dragons too, and whatever that thing was, it was much more terrifying. I don't. I think that thing is too powerful for me to, like, show you, kind of? Unless maybe I try doing, like, a smaller baby version? Silver, would I be able to polymorph into what it looked like, but, like, a much smaller, weaker version? Don't you have minor, don't you have minor illusion? Yeah. No. no. You would oh. not be able to polymorph into it. They don't have any illusions. Okay, Katya has minor illusions. Uh, what it doesn't Katya... polymorph limit Katya, you to beasts. Like, describes it, and Katya uses uh... minor illusions like a police sketch. Polymorph is annoyingly limited. It transforms. Yeah, the spell transforms a creature that you can see within range Ooh. into a new form. Well, the new form can be any beast whose challenge rating is equal to or less than the targets. Yeah, that's uh, why I was an trying illusion to get to a spell smaller, would be... weaker... Well, the thing you is... Seen a smaller, you don't know if you've seen a smaller, weaker but baby version of this thing. This, I have not. But the thing is, this thing's not a beast. Imagine. Not a beast. Have you seen Baby it's Godzilla? From the... <laughs> You mean- no, you mean Son of Godzilla. Shin Godzilla? No, Son of Godzilla. No, no, the- the- the Godzilla baby. Yeah, yeah. no, th this thing- There are a lot of them. You cannot polymorph into that, this thing, because- it, it was literally called Son of Godzilla. Okay, and Disguise no, Self is limited wasn't. to where I'd have to look like a humanoid type, right? Uh... But yeah, you'd need some kind of illusion spell in order to, like... Did you hear what I said before? Oh, what? You couldn't... Oh, you okay. have You have um, an illusion so, thing. Yeah, Katya, huh? Katya has minor illusion. What if okay. Reza described it to Katya as best oh, as she can? Yeah. And then I Katya, will... like, tries to do a police sketch rendition. Okay. Alright, roll... Uh, Reza, roll performance. <laughs> to see how well you describe this. That's caught. <coughs> that is not. Okay, so that is... Performance. That is a dirty 20. Alright. Uh, between the sketches, you only saw it in silhouette through all the uh, smoke and dust that had been kicked up from all the rubble as it had destroyed the town. Uh, but you do describe the silhouette Enough to get some kind of shape. Uh, Lavier, it looks reminiscent to the creature you saw when you identified those bones. Although this one has wings. 
and is a little bit smaller. But this, the same general body shape, as well as the spikes, are still consistent. Okay, so I guess the best guess we have is a winged Tarask? Uh -uh. How much would we know about Tarask lore? I mean, you've heard... It's probably, like, it's probably something that they teach you about for, like, a week at most in school. Y'all... The, the, like, the entire lesson is, you will not need this lesson if you see this run away. <laughs> Don't... Do not engage. Well... We have the champions of gods for this. <laughs> Everyone roll perception. Fifteen. Not a great a roll. You know, like God. Eleven. Great roll. <laughs> Fucking stupid ass dice. Thirty. Thirteen. You said thirty, Raja? Yes. All right, you're the only one who so noticed. Raja rolled a thirty. I rolled a fifteen. All right, Raja, you're the only one who notices this, but Miranda is nervously biting her lip and trying to not let on that she knows a bit about Tarasks. <laughs> I'm going to look at her and cock my head to the side. What? You know something. No. What? I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so you say, so you say, but... I think you know something about Tarasks, and I think it scares you. No, no. It's not that. Hmm. Alright. Okay, you gotta make a deal, okay? I'm the one that needs to deliver its blood, okay? <laughs> it's my contract, alright? That's that's fine and dandy. I'm just here because uh, this and uh, he shows off his bracer. I have I have to go through dungeons to upgrade this thing, and there's a dungeon here. All right, all right. Well, it's, yeah, it's old. It's I'm like just pre, a old lady. pre first era shit. Pre first era. I'm yeah. Didn't think I can that speak there was... an un, I can speak in a, a long forgotten language because of it. Interesting. So, I am not uh, a fan of being here. Uh, <laughs> neither am I. But, I've got a contract I gotta do. So, there was this contract. Um, it's been on the, uh, it's been on the, uh, Harvester's radar for about two decades or so. But, apparently, uh, someone put out quite... A, 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 a decent sized fortune uh, if we could deliver the blood of a monster that once existed and was killed thoroughly a long time ago called a Tarask. And I located where the last vial of its blood that was recorded had made its way here to this town. <laughs> Alright? Mm -hmm. I've read about Tarasks. And th they don't have wings. Alright? <laughs> that, that, they, they, they don't have wings. And there's only supposed to be one, and they take like a long, long time to 
grow. I I yeah. doubt like if one did exist, yeah. it would not be that big. Considering mm -hmm. when the last one recorded was killed, yeah. and you, you have to kill it with really, really powerful magic. Personally, I think that thing's a baby Tarask, and I pointed the lizard on Kachi's head. No, no, no. See, it doesn't have spikes. It, it's got, got little spikes. It's basically a horned lizard. It's got little spikes. It doesn't have big enough spikes. But it's a baby! Of course it doesn't have big enough spikes, it's a baby! I mean, relative to its, uh, <laughs> size, it's... Uh, I'll post... Oh wait, that was in general. <laughs> Look at how flat he is. Yeah, that's... You gotta yeah. hold him like burgers. <laughs> Uh, He's got spikes. He's just a little. Uh, well, I did stand near anything. So I, uh, okay. Um, they're really they're, they're, it's hard to describe. I don't. I mean, that thing's way too small and uh, chunky <laughs> to be, in my opinion. As a professional monster hunter, <laughs> uh, get, give it three millennia, he'll get there. If you say so, but anywho, the um, there is actually someone in town that knows of them. Have y'all met Oz yet? Uh, no, we've mostly just been to the mines in town square. All right, well, there's a giant wood carver. Uh, he's a stone giant and uh, has that wood carbon on the. Uh, 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 on the. I, I was going to clarify if you meant like an like a large guy or a giant. No, no, he, he's a stone giant. He's a nice fellow, but he lives on the uh, uh, on the edge of the uh, the town. Uh, have you been to? Well, yeah, you said you went to the mines. You would have passed this place, um, but. I saw one of the cycles um, when I was telling the sheriff. Uh, the sheriff has a uh, had commissioned a uh, uh, about five feet tall uh, wooden replica of a Tarrasque with pretty impressive work, if I have to say, because it's completely poseable. It's got uh, joints and stuff. He made a jo he made a jointed scale model of a of a Tarrasque? Yeah. That's impressive. He's got some really good work. I'd, uh, I was Shame he's stuck in the time loop. That's talent. Well, if we can break stuff, uh, if we can break it, I would definitely want to buy something to bring home to my little girl. Levere instantly recognizes that... I want to know a puppeteer who could make an entire base. Yeah. Uh. But we can, uh, I mean, we can see, we can go there and, I mean, see if that looks anything like the thing that you, uh, saw. Do you know, typically, what is the Tarasque habit? Like, where do they live? They sleep. Well, it lives. maybe what, no, uh, okay. very old. The and there is no they. There is only the one Tarask. Only one has ever been reported living at a time. And they live deep underground. They can move. It, it can move through the earth without disturbing it. Some say that it spawns in the core of Tapir. See, that makes sense for what we're dealing with. This thing is bursting up from deep underground. Yeah, so yeah but the thing is, is the Tarasks can do it undisturbedly. That thing blew up the fucking town. Because yeah. it wanted to. Also, Tarasks don't typically have any kind of lasers <laughs> from their mouth. 
Yeah, the pure destruction of a Tarask is usually the fact that it's big and damn near invulnerable. And it eats everything. Yeah, and that thing's Aren't slowly they anti -magic vulnerable and eats too? everything. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And also, Keep in mind. their bones can reflect spells. <laughs> okay, Miranda? Yeah? Katya! You're a, you're a harvester. You're, you, you know about... You, you've dealt probably with having to get magic sometimes. You, it's mostly magical goods, but, you know, sometimes you probably pick it away. Have you ever heard of a deck of many things? I mean, I met someone who needed uh, the Avagorgon to uh, try and make one. Uh, didn't go so well for him. Sushi yeah. immediately perks up. You can make them? I mean, powerful, really, really powerful uh, mages can. But it is very hard, from what I've heard. And it can easily go wrong. Resulting in death or worse. Because there are things worse than death. I... Uh, like being stuck in a time loop for about 40 years? Yeah. Well, I think this one's only lasted like 997, uh, only about 20 years or so. Give or take. Yeah. It's only lasted 20 years. Like, Rage has probably said different time loop stuff. Uh, I want to cast Identify on the lizard. Okay. That's not how Identify works. So. You can certainly try. <laughs> You can try. Yeah. All right. It's a ritual spell. If you just take ten minutes, it'll be fine. Yeah. All right. I, I figure the conversation. Do you keep in mind though, our time is very limited. Yeah, y'all have already been in here for like fifteen minutes discussing all this <laughs> stuff and investigating. Fifteen yeah. to twenty minutes. It's about so like. Have we ever try a number? All right. Not yet. Well, we're going to see if we're going to go to the library first to talk about it. We could just ask somebody out there. Ah, yes, because that won't be suspicious. Poke our head out of the clock tower. Hey, guys! When was your town <laughs> founded? Alright. Did it have any of this list of numbers in it? <laughs> yeah, the, if the library would be a better choice for that. Uh, okay. Alright, are we gonna wait for Katya to, uh, finish the spell, or are we gonna... Well, she was <laughs> doing it while everyone was talking. Okay, okay. Um, as you complete the spell, hmm. you look into the lizard's eyes, and you just see a void in the shape of a lizard. It... The spell seems to refuse to take hold on the lizard. And you can't discern anything from it. Okay, yeah. Katya's convinced it's a baby Tarask. <laughs> oh, yeah, it ate through a deck of many things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Ate through? Yeah. yeah, it bit the corner off of a, off the deck. The luckily, whole deck? Nothing luckily, nothing exploded. The whole deck? Yep. Like a cake? Yeah. Yeah. She, uh, yeah, I was very I'd disappointed. The I would show you the deck, but we sold it to a merchant. She didn't care that the magic was gone. Well, we might be able to see some parts of it. I'm gonna poke the lizard in the tummy. He already but, threw up like uh, half an hour ago. Did y'all grab the corner of the deck? Because that was one of the things he throws up. <laughs> or did <laughs> you just grab the money? We well, didn't grab anything, because it was... During the, yeah, Katya the, when was we were holding doing the stuff. lizard. Katya doesn't know the lizard's <laughs> history. She just let it barf. Okay. Might be in Katya's hair. Anyway, we, let's... Miranda looks at the uh, lizard with a mixture of fear and disgust. Like, and she's, yeah, it's... Al she's also trying to figure out whether or not y'all are being serious. Well, regardless of this little guy's Tarasqueness or not, we should probably head on to the library. 
Yeah. And also, you should probably make sure you're not seen by the city. Well, they... You got... Uh, I'm not normally in the cell, so they wouldn't recognize me unless... Uh, unless I was still in there at, like, 7 when they come. Mm. Library opens at 8, comes? though. Let's get to the library already. I want to find something else. Library's not gonna be open for a while. Okay, yeah, if the library's not gonna be open for a while, you can go check out the uh the, the guy that you mentioned, the giant with the Tarask statue. Alright. Scale All right. model. Yeah. Alright. Uh probably best to do the uh omnibus, cause you know, saves time. Yeah, we've got we, we bought passes. I don't know if we can all fit. Uh probably not. Uh, nah, I'll just. We can. can sit I just like lap. gesture at Livia. We can sit in people's laps. It's fine. You sure? We're small. It's like a child. All right. I assure you, I'm very comfortable. All right. So, uh, you, uh, you wave down an omnibus and, uh, explain that you, that you'll just sit on laps um and uh miranda pays uh five silver for her uh her pass uh and cut your chips in too i have it's money I, I got money yeah but you know there's, there's a sign of friendship you know we've got the truth i appreciate it but it, right. it it's it's no big deal uh, the uh, it, it takes about. Let's see, where are y'all? Y'all are at the clock tower. Let's see, it's five minutes to get across it. Another. It's about five to ten. Let's say ten. Yeah, let's say, let's say ten minutes to uh, uh, get there, and you can see the uh carving it's a little bit before seven uh but you see the uh the sheriff is about halfway down the field walking away from the uh uh walking away from the building uh, the wood carved building all right uh let's head over there then i guess all right the uh as you go, you can see, uh, on a rocking chair, there is Sage and Time. Oh. That's where you are today. Yes. Probably not gonna be here yesterday, or tomorrow, though. No, I think you were in the bar yesterday. <sighs> eh. I don't think that's happened for us yet. It's hard to tell. <laughs> Your yesterday is not the same as our yesterday. Wave. Mm. They wave. <laughs> uh, Small. If Miranda doesn't notice them. Or doesn't pay attention to them. She looks away from them. Uh, but as you enter the building, you can see that the building itself is pretty massive, built for a big figure. Uh, you can see a stone giant uh, is with a uh, sort of a, a, a craftsman's apron on uh, and over some uh, tight-fitting cotton clothing. Uh, is currently sitting at a beautifully carved table um he's wearing a porcelain mask which is uh lifted up slightly so that he can uh you can only see his mouth as he uh eats a large chunk of uh what smells like ham uh as well as a big pile of uh scrambled eggs uh covered in cheese and pepper A hearty breakfast. Uh, 
Ale and well met. Mm. What's covered in cheese and pepper? The eggs. Scrambled eggs. Oh, scrambled eggs. Yes. Uh, black pepper. Um, the, uh, uh, the giant says, Oh, give me one moment, and pulls the porcelain mask uh, down. You can see the porcelain mask is of a humanoid face with uh, a nice chiseled jaw, um, some decent cheekbones, uh, Kind of a uh, Henry Cavill kind of uh, handsome face to the mask. Um, uh, the stone giant also has long, flowing, uh, kind of, kind of greasy uh, black hair. Um, and he says, "I was just enjoying my breakfast." Welcome to my shop. How may I help you? Uh, yes. We heard that you had recently, uh, recently? Uh, that you you have a, uh, a Tarask model. Oh! That I've heard is jointed, which I find very impressive. Well, try not to make it... Public knowledge. Not very many people are aware of it, and it is intended as a birthday gift. Oh, uh. uh, we won't plan to spoil anything. We j I, we just wanted to have a look at it, if that's okay. I always appreciate people who wish to enjoy my work. I make many articulated carvings, uh, though if you want anything custom, it will have to wait. I have one project that will take me most of the day, uh, but if you come back at four or so, I should be done. Hmm. Maybe. Well, uh or, sorry, Perhaps. if you come back at three or so, I should be done. You watch hmm. out at around about noon. I have a feeling there's going to be some shaking, so... I'm Steady your... Sorry. She's a fortune teller, you see. At yes. noon, I, I enjoy my lunch. House today that there might be an earthquake. Around noon. An earthquake around noon. Yes. Well, I will try to keep that in mind. But please, hmm. let me show you my wares. And he uh, beckons oh, you to go through. He stands up from the table. And you can see he's about 15 feet tall uh, standing up. Um, his head, uh, scrapes the roof of, or the ceiling of this room, uh, and he, uh, he has to, like, slightly hunch over, but, um, he beckons you through an archway, which he has to duck under, and following him in there, you can see there are d shelves full of various carvings, uh, of many sizes. The most common carving are of what looks like people, about uh, four or five inches tall, um, painted to look pretty realistic. You wouldn't even know they were wood if he didn't uh, mention that he is a wood carver. Um, there are all kinds townspeople, uh, and people you don't recognize. Uh, he says, Most of the stuff I do in my free time is carving people that I see throughout the days. Hmm. I could carve you in my downtime if you are okay with that. I think that'd be neat. Uh, but you wanted to see the most 
impressive thing I have done in recent times. He, uh, pulls out a, uh, he goes to a, uh, behind a counter and slides a, uh, slides a wooden crate and unlatches it, letting the, uh, uh, side panel, uh, fall open. And inside, you can see, curled up, is, uh, a completely articulated, uh, monster about he starts posing it getting it to stand five feet uh balancing it with the tail the arms so that it stands up on its own uh and it is painted uh it is polished and it looks pretty realistic um you uh he says and it is a monster that stands on two legs with some slightly short arms, uh, but with massive spikes all over. This hmm. is the Tarask. And Brooke believes that Zeke will enjoy it. I put my heart into all of my work. That's mighty fine shining example of artistry, my good sir. Thank you. All right, so how does it look compared to the illusion that we had been, that we had been shown earlier? Um Raja, uh, as he, like, poses it in various, uh, ways, uh, walking around it, you can find one angle in particular where it looks almost exactly like what you saw, only without wings. Wow. That looks almost exactly like what I saw. The difference is the wings. Wings? There was no wings on the specifications that Brooke had given me. I thought Tress were supposed to have wings, but I think I saw one recently that seemed to have wings. <laughs> the book that... Brooke had given me said that <laughs> that, that it is long dead. I don't think there is any seeing one recently. You might be surprised. <laughs> Maybe it was in a dream. <laughs> that would be some dream. According to the book, the last recorded sighting was actually in McCrea. <laughs> long ago. <laughs> How long ago? Oh. Uh, second era? Third era? I do not remember. I focused more on the visual descriptions <laughs> rather than the actual history. You'd think it would be seen again by now. I'm pretty sure I saw one in the second. <laughs> well, you look amazing for your age if you were alive in the second Sushi's... era. Sushi, Sushi just like squints it. I thank you, my good sir. Gotcha. I do try. If there is anything that you would like to purchase that is already complete, then feel free to browse. Although, understandably, the custom works are not for sale. He, uh, he uh, curls the Tarask back up and 
puts it into the box. Despite his giant hands, he is very delicate. And the way he works uh, all the meticulous joints in, and uh, the like, uh, you can see that he uses ball joints, but he manages to uh, hide the, uh, the ball joints under the various uh, carapaces. Uh, that way it looks... Uh, reasonably seamless uh, and he put places it back in the crate and latches it closed again uh. well uh. The price well, is for if you buy something pre-made is how much you think something is worth. Mm. I use it to gauge how well my craftsmanship is. What does he have uh. that's pre-made? Uh, there are dozens of car mostly people, sometimes birds. Uh, you see that there's a, uh, you see that there's a bear that is being carved out of a, uh, like a life-size bear that's currently being carved out of a, uh, trunk, or like a, a tree, uh, a tree trunk. Um. Any small figurines of, like, foxes or anything? Uh... Roll perception. Anyone who wants to look for anything interesting, go ahead and roll perception. Yeah, okay. Hutch is interesting. 13. 29. 29? 23. Where's my character sheet? Alright. Um, Maybe you closed it by accident. Yeah. Apparently I did. Uh, perception? As... Yeah. Seven. All right. And what did uh, Katya get? 23. And you said you were interested in what? One of the birds. No, bears is what he was carving. Yeah, but you said in the pre-made stuff there were some birds. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, you do find one carving. Uh, it is... Uh, you do find a carving that has birds on the shoulder of a cloaked figure. Uh, that looks pretty interesting. Uh, uh, n none that are, like, just actually birds. <laughs> nah, it's mostly birds, like, in relation to other people. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, but the, because the, f the humanoid figurines are all around, like, five inches, uh, small, the birds on the shoulder, uh, you can see they look, uh, they're... You can identify what kind of birds they are with how incredible the detail is, considering they're, like, only a half inch tall on mm -hmm. this uh, figure's it shoulder. Is very uh, you I can tell that they are robins. Yeah. And you can see, like, each <laughs> feather is... Bird to, like, hang above her hammock on the ship e so she could play with it. <laughs> each feather is, like, meticulously painted on with, like, a gradient... Like these are. Maybe we should just get you a cat toy, Katya. <laughs> <laughs> well, Katya is pretty taken with the birds. How much is that figure? How much are you willing to pay for it? Five gold. Five gold? <laughs> it's a deal. I am glad that you think my craftsmanship is that good. Well, when you've been around as long as I have, you'll know a gem when you see one. I don't work in gem cutting. It's woodworking it's that is... It's a figure of speech. 
Oh, I see. Uh, if you wish for custom stuff, come back around three and I can get started. But I have a custom order that I should be starting on in... Mm, he looks at a clock. He says, uh, Oh, fairly actually, soon. If instead of this figure, I could... Is, if five gold is enough for custom, I would like a bird. When after your current project. Okay. How much? I don't see any rats. Uh. How, uh. I can give, you could, if you have the funds, you could get both. I would prefer just the one. Okay. Yeah, uh, takes the figurine and, uh, despite it being so small in his hands, he's able to put it on the sh back on the shelf <laughs> and press it. A uh, Levere. Hello. And Sushi. Yeah. And Corvus. <laughs> you all hey. would recognize the figurine he is pushing onto the shelf. What? A hooded figure with two robins on his shoulder. Oh, motherfucker, hold on. My sound cut the out. the same one? Oh. Uh, is it in a different pose? Uh, he's in a walking pose. Is it the same pose? What? It's just a hooded figure. Uh... The hood is a dark blue with a uh, sort of a gold pointed uh, tip. Oh, that asshole. And he has two robins on his shoulder. God fucking. You had to remind me of your Batman puns. <laughs> uh. Uh, I. It sounds like his uh, parent audio doesn't work. I don't see any rats. Why don't you carve rats? I could. Mostly I carve people I see passing by. People, tourists, uh. Wait. You... Visit, uh. Sailors who come looking for something to spice up their ship. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck. I may- I will likely carve you all at some point. No need to pose. I have a really good memory. I like to pose. Well, if you wish to pose, then you could. Once I- have my custom orders all completed. Maybe tomorrow. I want to ask my familiar if any of the figurines look interesting to it. Alright. My lethargic little goo. Yeah, goo rat. your rat comes out of the uh... out of the... Uh, out of the color of your shirt. Um, oh, that is a very interesting creature. 
What do you think of these figurines, little guy? Hmm. They're interesting. Some of these are covered in dust. Huh. I wonder why. Probably very old. Yeah, but... Very old can mean different things to different people. That's fair. I mean, old in relation to the rest of the wood carving. You know, something stays stationary long enough, it gathers dust. Well, then why don't you have dust on you? I'm not stationary. You sit, you well, sit most of the day. Well, there's another pile of dust. There was once a war fought over kind of... Well... If you don't... If you, if you don't exercise more often, you're going to get chubby. Poke the little rat tummy. Or was it mouse? It's a rat. Little, little goo rat tummy. Yeah. Hey, look, this, this is no. This is currently not directly connected to my patron. I can make fun of him more than I normally can. Yeah. <laughs> he does not have. The connection is currently disconnected from the patron while in this time loop. He does not like it. Yes! Yay! Hello. What's Can up? Can you hear us? Uh, I'm here again. Hello. Hey. Hello. Uh, the only thing you missed was the, uh, uh, the giant said that he mostly just... The stuff he carves in his free time is, uh, like, usually the visitors he sees walking by. You know, tourists, sailors, uh... You also uh, technically traders. missed the part where, you know, he was revealed about the wizard, but... Well, I, I wrote that. <laughs> yes. But, it, but yeah, it, no, so... It does look phrasing. like the wizard. People walking by... With the wizard, that's a bad time. That's what that is. Oh, bad idea. Uh, I I point to the wizard with two birds. I know that guy. Oh, I he came walking by maybe twenty or thirty years ago. And he didn't age a day. I saw Fucking him. wizards. Going into the mines, which I thought was weird, but he came out a few hours later. And he did ask mm -hmm. me for a custom project, though. Oh, what did what did he ask for? He asked for me to uh, carve him a. Uh, a circle, uh, a clock of sorts, but only with seven faces of the, uh, of the Zodiac. Hmm. A bear, a fox, a dragon, a rabbit, a rat, a deer, and an owl. Hmm. Hmm. That's very interesting. Hold on, I'm I'm writing this down. You know what the zodiac is? I have that in notes. <laughs> Don't remember the order it is. I'd have to dig up my old <laughs> notes from like session one. How is there a zodiac when there are <laughs> no stars? Well, there's the lights. Yeah, there's they the lights. Really, they're not they're not shaped like creatures. No, but neither are the stars, dummy. Yeah. <laughs> You're a <laughs> dummy. Baps you with my paw. Yeah, I've always it, liked the it, rat it's zodiac. a yearly zodiac, not a uh, not a monthly zodiac. 
Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So the Zodiac probably has something to do with the code. Seven. Maybe. I, I don't think so. Well, I doubt, I doubt the wizard has anything to do with the clock. Anyway, anyway, um, we just said like we've got a clock puzzle dungeon. Oh, a puzzle box shaped like a clock. Yeah. Interesting. I do enjoy making puzzle boxes. Puzzle. puzzle boxes are fun. Works the brain. Yes. It has been All some right. time since I made one though. Uh, as y'all are talking, the, uh, uh, a clock on the wall, uh, starts, uh, you hear a bird going, cuckoo, cuckoo, as, uh, it strikes seven, it's like, oh, I'm sorry, but I must get started on my work. Yeah. Uh, there are too many damn sevens in this room. What was his name again? Uh... He, you, uh, Miranda called him Oz, uh, but you can ask him. Oh, What's your my name, good sir, sir, my friend says your name is Oz. Is that accurate? Yes, that is a shortened version of my name that I occasionally go by. As my full name is Ospilak, but I understand that it could just Hard for some to pronounce. It is giant for woodcover. Well, giant for Can you tell me how to spell that? O S P Y L A C. So he goes by Os, like yeah. O S? Yeah. Alright, how do you spell it again? O S P Y L A C. Ospilak. Yeah. Ospilak. is giant for Carver. His, na- his name is basically Carver. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> it, in this world, it's giant for Carver. <laughs> uh. He, uh, he walks <laughs> over to a uh, clean workstation in... <laughs> grabs a uh, chunk of wood and begins to carve. Uh, The piece of wood is... um, It looks to be oak, maybe? Possibly cherry wood? As he he starts carving, you see the insides. It's definitely cherry wood. Uh, But he begins to carving, and it doesn't take long for you to realize it is in the shape of a bird. Of some sort. Right. Well, we'll leave you to that then, Mr. Oz. Yes, I'll be done at three. All right. We'll stop by around then, if we can. All right. You have a if wonderful day. Good. Yeah, waves. All right. So, okay. So we've still got about an hour until the library opens. Where uh, Yes. Warehouse. By the way, uh, Miranda slipped out at some point. That's gonna be, that's really sketch. Warehouse. Alright, what warehouse? Warehouse Warehouse district? I would like to say that at some point, on some loop, Katya would like to tail Sage in time and they get up. I, it's not easy because of the whole they change what they're doing. Yeah, but like the they next time we disappear. happen upon them. Yeah. They are still in the rocking chair as you leave. Oh, I'm gonna boop the one on the left. If that happens to be Sage. Ah, I see you're still doing that. Well, one of these days I'll try. Uh, I'll try kissing one of you, and you'll get to decide how that 
Uh, when that so. happens. If you say so. Sticked out tongue. I was gonna yeah. stick out my tongue at the mice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they wave, uh, bye. They are still in their similar, like, theme of sage wearing, uh, white and gold with time wearing, uh, blue and black. But are you so certain? <laughs> Alright, so warehouse district, that is in South Cogston across the river. Well, let's hope the omnibus goes there. It'll take 15 minutes for the omnibus to get to the warehouse district. Well, we've got an hour, so... Yeah. Alright. I still say Where's we could just ask to yeah. have money. <laughs> well? Well, well you can ask like someone... A 15 minute ride tends to be like an hour walk. So, Katya would rather take the omnibus. Yeah. Omnibus. Uh, Alright, the omnibus well, that- Well, you can ask- you can ask the driver on the way there. Okay. The, the omnibus that you managed to flag down is the one that you know, uh, under certain circumstances would hit dusk. But, you see the, uh, driver is not catatonic, because he is not yet accidentally <laughs> killed. A little girl. He has not yet killed a small child, a small elven child at that. Yeah. Uh, How old is this kid? Like, 30? <laughs> no, uh, elves age like humans until they hit uh, their early I know, it's just really funny to think about. Yeah. 30, year old, 30 years old and still, I like, like, I like the four. I like the reverse, where it's like an elf... Holding up a like pointing to uh, uh, like an elderly human being uh, and talking to another elf, being like, You can't date him, he's so young, he's only 80. It's just like an old man, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's also funny. Uh, no, uh, in, in this setting, el uh, elves are I have Saiyan biology in that. They say in their 20s or so until the their la last, like, 50 years in which they rapidly age. <laughs> so if you see an old um, elf, you know they are old. How yeah. old do, do, do sushi? I can't remember. Tross is, Tross is a full elf, right? Yes. All right. So he's probably going to look like that for another century or three. Yeah, he's only, uh, he's only 70, I think 70 years old. I'd have to check my notes. I know that you have drawn art of him. I know what Tross looks like. But at this moment in time, the only thing I can vision inside of my head is Simon Petrikov. Honestly... Not that far off. If Simon had big elf ears and, and purple, purple hair. hair. Yeah. Yeah, that that's not that far off. <laughs> yeah, no, the difference is that Tross is less of a sad set. <laughs> anyway. You um, don't know that. Well, he hasn't been depressed around us yet. <laughs> unless, you, unless you have been having more conversations in your pocket diary than I know about. <laughs> uh, so, Late you, uh... Late night, Ross drunkenly, like, <laughs> sketches a note to Levere. It's like, why are we alive? Why is life? <laughs> well, what doth life? What's the point of adventuring when there's always going to be more shit in the future? Nothing you ever do is ever stays. <laughs> uh, but no, you it's uh you got about fifteen minutes on the omnibus, uh if you want to strike up a conversation with the driver.
Raisha. You're the one that wanted to ask. Hello. Um, we're new and we wanted to learn more about this place. Oh. I was wondering when it was founded. Oh. Uh, it was actually founded in, uh... Sorry, I, the DM, have to do the math. Uh, it was actually founded in, uh, 800. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Me. That's, that well, that's when the year. city's, that's when the city's, uh, uh, was completed. The, the city's, uh, the initial town's, uh, final building was completed. It was... Uh, that being when they start, yeah, the clock tower. They they scheduled it to be at least according to the history books. I'm personally skeptical because you know trying to get the uh, getting work done on a schedule is always a nightmare. But according Uh, to yeah, according to the books, uh, the clock was uh the final building and uh completed on midnight uh new year's day uh in 800 i mean obviously it's expanded since the uh there weren't the walls initially it was just a handful of it was just the central district uh and the uh docks in the western uh district but it's expanded but the uh, day that's considered uh, its founding is New Year's Day. We're actually going to be celebrating our bicentennial in a couple years. Hmm. Well, I hope that goes uh, well. Centennial. Yeah. <laughs> Anything well, else nice you want to know? To know that your town has come out as being a bicentennial. That clock tower. <laughs> Is very beautiful. Do oh, you have thanks. Of the architect. Uh, no, no, the the architect. Um, well, which one? It did burn down. Uh, well, not down, but it did suffer severe damage. Uh, about ten years back, and I had to go uh, undergo some. What happened to it? Ten, fifteen years. I don't know. It's. Time just absolutely flies, but <laughs> there was a fire in it. it melted all the gears. Um, the gears? That must have been a hot fire. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That fire oh. must have been real hot. Yeah. It, uh, it's pretty bad. But I the, uh, exit was a normal fire. But we had, uh, we, we had the someone who uh managed to put it back together and you know uh get all the pieces working actually make it run even smoother than it did uh okay if you were here you said that was fif- about 15 years back yep katya is wondering <laughs> it is like a is a key code locks relative would a key code lock not have been a thing? Um. It, well, you were alive around this point in time, so. Yeah. Uh. They didn't really come into prominence until about 10 years back, but the technology for it would have been available about 15 years ago. Okay. Well, I suppose since I'm seeing it now, and this is my friend, the architect who did the repairs. Oh. Oh, that was the late, great Jed. He was a... He was a genius uh, amongst... Uh, Does he have any family? Well, yeah. Uh, uh, he's got Zeke. Uh, took up the family business after a trip to Jareel, and he's been helping maintain oh, and update and upgrade the uh, automatons that have been running the mines for the past uh, ten years or so. Oh, Right, I heard about I, those. Do we, 
I would be very interested to meet the Zeke. Do you happen to know where he can be found? Uh, best time to do it would probably be tomorrow. I mean, I th I want to say he's probably working on robots now, because uh, I mean, if I were him, I'd definitely be trying to get all that squared away before this festival starts. Yes, we we heard they were. Must have his hands. Yeah, but. He keeps the mind running, and none of us have to go in there anymore. Zeke. So uh, he's 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 a. If you ask me, other than the mayor, he's the one that really uh, has the respect of everyone. Uh, what what does he look like? Oh, in case we like see him out and about. Oh. Brown hair, glasses. It's got a kind of a plain-looking face. Is he human or? Yeah, yeah, he's human. Mm. Uh. <sighs> yeah. Sucks though that he has to work today. Is it Z E K E or Z E E K? Z E A K. All right. It's short for Ezekiel. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, it's one of those religious names. Eh. <laughs> but yeah, it's a uh... yeah. I should get him a gift. I don't know what he'd want though. He's the kind of guy who gets the things he wants, you know? You ever meet anyone yeah. like that? Someone who, uh, they're really hard yeah. to... It's really hard yeah. to find them, uh... They're for, like, the novelty and experience. Like, giving them a thing doesn't all work. Yeah, no, it's, uh... It's really hard to buy stuff for them, because they buy the things that they want when they want them, so... Like what? Else, what can he get? They already have what they want. Usually, in those circumstances, okay. I, I I just give them I just give them money. Yeah, money's always good. I know some people it's, say it's, it's tacky, it's but one. it's it's it, good. It is a little impersonal, but when, when you can't think of anything else, you, money's useful. Yeah, food food's always a good gift. I could. I think someone's. Probably already getting him a cake. Mm. Well, there's other kinds of food. Yeah. And the Peter's Rock? I'll make you. Yeah. Maybe some owlbear claws. I could go for some owlbear claws, but unfortunately, they're always gone before 10. And I don't go on break until 11. Ah, uh, damn. Yeah. Well, all right. That's, we should be getting to the. Great. Yeah, you eventually we're arrive at the, the library. Warehouse. Oh, the the warehouse. You eventually arrive in the warehouse <laughs> district. Uh, as you cross the bridge, uh, you see several buildings uh, yeah. made of um, made of stone with wood uh, with metal sheets uh, for roofs that are covered in uh, <laughs> snow. Um, some of them have, uh, stone, uh, roofing, flat stones. Uh, some of them have, uh, smoke pipes, which are billowing smoke, uh, uh temperature controlled warehouses. But, you eventually make your way here. What is it that you do? You know, I'm gonna be honest, I thought I would... I have an idea. I know. I just realized we'd never been here before. Yeah, um... Maybe we could try... <laughs> who would maybe work with Zeke and, like, be able to... Like, if he... If he's like the dude, the prominent dude who makes shit around, 
money. He probably he's like uh, has mines. a lot of like. He's in, in the mine. Yeah, but someone who would know like exactly where in the. The sheriff like... knows. Then I guess next time. Oh, maybe we could find something to help us deal with the rocks after the cave in. Because, like, following the sheriff and, like, figuring out stuff with the sheriff will still be in the mine during the cave in. We need to figure out a way. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, if we get to another reset, we can take boarding wind, which kind of helps with gas and, like, I can... stuff around, but. I, feel I can like we... help with the stones, but I need to, like, sleep for a while first. You'd need to get a room at the inn. I would need to get a long rest and stuff. <laughs> Alright. If we wanted to do that. Oh, Katya What would that be? Most polymorph. Maybe Katya could turn into, like, a big <laughs> morph or something. Like, dig up. Turn into a moth? Alright, as y'all wander around the warehouse district, uh, let's see, 17, 17. Uh, go ahead and roll perception. Thomas? Perception? Yeah. 18. 25. 27. <laughs> All right. Damn it. Everyone 20 and above, you notice uh, on the roof of one of the warehouses, uh, or towards the roof of one of the warehouses, you can see Miranda has uh, is currently uh, climbing up a drain pipe uh, and just hops onto the roof of one of the warehouses. Hello. Huh. I wonder what she's up to. I don't know. Uh, Hello. All right. Uh, I don't know if you. Oh yeah, you you rolled a twenty-two. You saw her. Yeah. The. Uh, well, all right. How do y'all get to the top of the roof? Katya parkours her way up. Athletics. All right. Wrong climbing. I'm gonna make talent. sure everybody gets up first before I go up. All right. I'm gonna roll. In case, in case somebody needs help, it's about gonna... uh, thirty feet high. I'm going to acrobatics my way up with my nimble little body. All right, roll acrobatics. I'm gonna. Ah, uh, just an eighteen. All right, that's a very Steven, low roll. You managed to uh uh like jump from wind uh jump uh. You managed to like run up the wall and cling on to the uh uh the drain pipe uh and use your momentum to like hook on to uh a uh window towards the top and then thrust yourself up getting all the way up. Yeah, I par I parkour my way up. Yeah, parkour. <laughs> I got a six. Uh, you run right into the wall and fall flat on your ass. Alright, I guess it's nap time. <laughs> Alright, what did everyone else get? 20. Alright, you managed to, uh, climb your way up the drain pipe, uh, reasonably well. Alright. Uh... Raja, you said you were waiting till everyone's up? I want to make sure everybody can get up first. <laughs> Alright, well, Sushi didn't get up. <laughs> what about Corvus? Oh, Corvus! Uh, 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 uh. Yes? Uh, how are you getting up to the top of the warehouse? Well, I'm getting- I have a phone call, hold on. I'm gonna try to, like, uh, bounce off using parkour to try to acrobatics my way up there. Alright, roll acrobatics. Alright. 
Let me know what you get. Thirteen. Fifteen? Thirteen, thirteen. Thirteen? Alright, you managed to make right it about halfway up, but you managed to slip and start falling. Uh, you're going to fall about 15 feet and take some fall damage unless you have some way to negate the fall damage. I'm going to like try and like jump up and grab and spin and then just kind of like... I like to like a barrel roll, like roll to the ground to try and break the ball for that, so no damage. Okay, roll acrobatics. <laughs> it's gonna be a high DC. <laughs> okay, let's see, acrobatics. That's dex base. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay at that. Uh, dirty 20. Alright, you managed, as you see, uh, Corvus is falling, you managed to like. Uh, jump up and then wall kick off to try and catch Corvus and land in a uh, somewhat uh, a somewhat reasonable sized pile of snow. You okay. Corvus, you okay? I guess Corvus is a bit dead. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Yeah, between all that noise, Miranda has noticed that y'all spotted her. Uh, Katya and uh, Lavere, she turns to you and was like, Oh, what the hell are you doing? I am back. Hey, uh, Corvus beefed it, and, uh, <laughs> Corvus biffed it, and now Miranda knows that y'all are telling her. What the hells are y'all doing? Well, we saw you jumping up here, we figured you know something important. Yeah, I'm trying to... I want to see if... I have some ideas, but I need to find out what Chardonnay knows. Okay. Well, we could help with this. Okay, well... It might actually be easier with uh, help. Uh, I'm not really good at dealing with Chardonnay. If y'all can get an audience with her, do y'all think y'all can try and steal her ledger? Hmm. I think we can. We could try. We could try. All right. All right. And I can. I'll. I'll keep watch out here. All right. Uh, but you need to be quiet and try not be. Uh, try not to be seen. All right. Uh, you see those. Uh, you see that building right there, and she uh, points to one of the warehouses. Mm-hmm. All right. You're going to go in there uh, at 7.30, uh, two of our henchmen come out and uh, and they go, they're going to go uh, head into the city and wait for an opportunity to break a gnome's legs. Uh, don't worry. He just has a debt. Uh, it's about 800 gold, but if you try to pay it yourself, she's going to ask for, two, she's going to tack on a bunch of hidden fees and uh, make it like 2,000. Uh, but, uh, when they're gone, you go in there, you can, there is, in, there's an old grandfather clock, and if you press the side panel, it'll open up a keypad, just like the one in the clock tower, and you want to tap in the code, now make sure you write this down, Mm-hmm. One six five four nine eight six. Okay. Five right. four nine eight. Six. Yeah. 
1654986. All right. And that'll get you the uh that'll get you the elevator to her uh to her office. Now, since it's 7:30, she usually eats breakfast around 7:30 to 8. Do you know where in the office? Uh, well, there's going to be two doors, one to your left, and that leads to her complex, and then there is the door straight forward, that is her office, alright? Her complex is covered in security guards, so mm -hmm. try not to make her mad. Uh... I figure maybe. I'm sorry, you cut what out. Was is disgruntled, a uh, doc, like claim we we're missing a shipment. Y you're uh cutting the out. The other two of us could. Oh. My, <laughs> what I'm th thinking is that maybe two of us could make some distraction. We could go and be complaining and talk about how shipment is missing or something, and then. Raisa, you can your invisibility. I am good at sneaking, so maybe while, you know, floor staff is distracted, she is eating breakfast, you and I, we sneak into office and get that elevator in the She in the eats, she eats her breakfast in the office, you need to- Oh, in the office, yeah. okay. You I need misunderstood. To, you need to try and- Mavas, try to talk to her and try and- and take the ledger. She's the one- that got the Trask's blood into the city. And it's in the clock tower. Yeah, if anyone would know, I spent three tr cycles trying to get that ledger. But I'm only one person. Exactly. Alright. I think maybe we complain enough, be unruly. Get her out to deal with the situation personally. Uh, she doesn't deal with situations. She has people deal with situations for her. Mm. She's a mafia boss. I could call him. Big creature. Go on, Rem. Make building evacuate. Another one. Oh, well, you can certainly try. Uh, I mean, that would definitely. They might have guns. Oh, they definitely have guns. Yes, but what is a gun to a T-Rex? Well, there's this Goliath who's got a uh, got this uh, a, a Gatlin. You know, it, it's a gun with barrels that spin, and as you uh, rotate the uh, a crank and it just spins and fires constantly. So uh, you don't want to be caught on that. Yes. A big distraction but is. All I need to do is smash a building and make them evacuate. I run. This big robot chases me. Well, they got a s they got a me. safe room in the office that they'd uh <laughs> that they retreat to when you try that. I set the building on fire once. Ah. Well, I'm out of. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I tried talking to her and swiping the uh, ledger uh, while I was talking to her without her noticing, but she noticed. But also, she was talking directly to me, and I'm only one person. Like I yeah. said, uh, I can... Raisha could be invisible while the I rest can't of do us. I can that are... anymore. Oh, it's a once per. Um, I do like the polymorph idea, but maybe more of like a polymorph to get into and grab the thing. And then maybe be like a dimension door out type of situation. Hmm. Yeah, you might be able to do that. Maybe. How charismatic does she? Ah, uh, she's mafia, but never mind. 
<laughs> yeah, she is not at all what you're going to be expecting, trust me. I mean, I can... I'm expecting... I can't, I can't make anybody invisible, but I can make us harder to <laughs> see. And we can't be followed or traced except for by magical means. That might work kind if of... you, uh... It's black like... Good at sneaking and just kind of sticking in the shadows and maybe just a couple of us just to get into there or something. Well, you'd need to, you would need to distract her personally in order to get the ledger. Uh, so someone has to go, someone's got to go in to talk to her. Exactly. Well, someone else, maybe me and Raja, I think we have the. I think we're the best at sneaking in this I can guess group. Alright. <laughs> well, if things go wrong, confuse her. As y'all are talking, you hear uh, a door open and close, and you can see an orc and a human. Um, the human has uh, sort of uh, black hair uh, that's like neck length. Uh, and kind of like a John Travolta kind of uh, <laughs> hairstyle. Um, and the orc uh, has uh, slicked back hair, somewhat kind of like in a pompadour. And they are walking down the street discussing something that's too far away to listen to. And she says, all right, those are her two uh, top men. Once they turn the corner, that's your time to go. The guards will have a change. Uh, the guards will be in the middle of a change in the complex as they're going. So that'll be your time to get in before the new guards get to our door. Mm. Okay. Um, I mean, I can, I can do the pass without trace and anybody... Mm. You know, within 30 feet of me. Is better at, like, being stealthy. Um. Yeah, it gives us a plus 10. Yep. The stealth rolls as long um, as you concentrate. I can also make somebody even better at stealthing. Um. Who's not good at it that doesn't already have an extra boost to it? I can give somebody advantage on stealth. Um, I'm a rogue, and I've got the I lucky. I am still team. on the ground. <laughs> Sushi's on the floor still. She's heard everything, though. Have I? You guys are like on Katya's top of a building. Got a Eleven to stealth. The range is five hundred feet. Range of what? The range of the earrings is five hundred feet. You've heard. You We're not more you than actually gave me an earring. You did. You all have earrings. Y'all got the new earrings made from Tavel, and you dispensed them amongst yourselves. Everyone has an earring. I don't think we had an extra one made for Katya. Yeah, we? no, you don't have one for Katya because Katya came after y'all okay, picked so them up. Okay, so not everybody yeah. has them. Everyone but Katya has hear, an earring. You, you, you hear Sushi making cooing noises and saying sorry that she fell on Shiny. Alright. The, uh... Oh, Shiny jumped off your back as soon as you started, uh... <laughs> as soon as you started falling and, uh, grabbed onto the, uh, drain pipe and slid down it to come to you. <laughs> God damn it, he's better at acrobatics than me. <laughs> yeah, he's a but raccoon. He's a actually, higher deck um, than I do. Raja never w actually went up the building either, but since I started talking about the plans... Yeah, you you have the earrings, she, so you yeah. would have definitely... All right. Okay, so who's making the distraction? Who's talking? We should have next health, shouldn't we? We should. We should. Um... Katya is a smooth talker. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Out of character, TK. What's your charisma? Uh. 
18. Yeah, you're you have higher. I think you have the highest of yeah. anyone outside of maybe Raja. And, but I, and I have that was... huh? Also, Raja, you... what's your charisma? Also, I think Twelve? I think Katya would be yeah. familiar. Twelve? I think Katya would be familiar with Chardonnay, or at least tales about Chardonnay. That's low. <laughs> Yeah. That she uh she ran a uh My charisma is also twelve. Chardonnay, no, mine's fifteen. Chardonnay had run a pretty extensive uh criminal empire until she disappeared off the face of Tapir, and now you know why. My charisma's a thirteen. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Katya should probably be the one to okay. talk to Chardonnay. Right. Yeah. Should be should Corvus and Sushi just stay where they are? Probably. Okay. Okay. I will try to climb up the building then. <laughs> All right. Get well, no, we need to get we need to get inside. Yeah, the uh, the two mafiosos are about to turn the corner uh, a few blocks down. Yeah, Lavier is getting down the building so that he can oh, get in. Okay. Yeah, it's easy enough to slide oh, down the uh, the the drain pipe. Raja will wait until Lavir and TK are down, and then she will do... Well, actually, how far away is the building? Across the street. Okay, yeah, she'll wait until they're down, and then she'll do, um... Pass Without a Trace? Pass Without a Trace, <laughs> and... Let's see. <laughs> <sighs> is it just gonna be, um... Lavir and Raja sneaking, or will TK need to, well, Katya need to sneak at any point, either? Yeah, well, Katya's gonna be doing the talking. Yeah. She just needs to get in and talk. Yeah, y'all were told, if y'all go fast enough, you shouldn't encounter guards. Yeah. Okay. Also, sh sorry, I was, like, double-checking a spell effect while you were t telling me what I should know about Chardonnay. Oops. Oh, uh, just as she ran a, uh, a fairly ex extensive criminal empire uh, mm -hmm. until she disappeared off the face of Tapir. But now okay. you know why she disappeared. Yeah. Okay. Because the town that she was in ceased I... existing. <laughs> yeah, should I, sh can I roll to see if I like remember anything specific that'll help me get into Alright. Uh, roll history. 28. You would know that she is extremely vain, and if you stay on her good side and don't bore her, then you should be okay. But also, people who do speak to her tend to have a reason to use her services, which are Primarily either uh, smuggling, stealing, or occasionally uh, placing hits. Uh, and extortion. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I think I'm, I might try to like get her to help us rob the clock tower. Like, we heard there's something big under there, maybe. And maybe, maybe, maybe not a great idea considering she's the one that put it there. Oh, she is? Probably, that's what Miranda okay. said. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to have ideas, and none of them are good. It's fine, it's fine, this is... <sighs> okay. This, is, no, the, no, you, this no. is the meta space of time that doesn't exist in the game. What What Miranda said was that she's the one that had the uh, Tarrasque blood stolen and smuggled in. Oh, okay. So she probably doesn't want us getting it without having exorbitant amounts of money. Uh, hmm. All right. Anyone else got any what ideas? What warning her that someone's trying to take it? Like... Hey, someone's gonna take your shit, and that prompts her to go check on it. And then we like 
watch her while she goes to check on her shit and maybe we find something out. All right. You can how, certainly you can me. certainly try. Yeah. I mean, but you like, have, how does you, how does the rest of the team feel about that kind of idea? In worst case scenario, you try a different uh, conversation next cycle. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wait, uh, what? worst case scenario is she kills you, so... And yeah, and then you don't have to wait. Yeah, we... we <laughs> worst case scenario, we trigger a fight on the docks. Uh, Alright. So, the, uh, the, uh, the mafiosos have finished turning the corner, and, uh, you can see Miranda is making the gesture of, Go, go, go! Alright, they're off. All right, you rush into the warehouse, and you can find that it is uh, pretty dusty. There's a lot of uh, furniture that's covered in sheets uh, uh, and, and boxes that are full of just clothing. Those of you with a criminal, uh, those of you who are experienced in the criminal, would know immediately. Like this warehouse, definitely a front. This is. Uh, a place that only exists to serve a purpose on papers for the purpose of, like, tax evasion and, and the like. But you do find a grandfather clock uh, off in the uh, corner. Uh. All right. Uh, she said to, like, press in on the side. Yeah. You find a... Uh, uh, a piece you find part of the side uh it, it's a the side is engraved with a tree and pressing in on the leaves of the tree uh causes it to flip open uh revealing a, one of those uh typewriter keypads all right i entered the code one six five four nine eight six uh could you repeat that I I may have typed it wrong. Levere it's, types in the code given. Okay. It's one six five four nine eight six. Yes. Yeah, that's what I typed. That's what I had. Okay. I, I couldn't tell if you said five or nine. <laughs> no, I, I said five. Okay. Uh and I said and then I said nine. Yeah. After uh, a four. <laughs> yeah. Okay, <laughs> so once you type that, you can see the uh, wood paneling the wood panel floors next to the um, actually no it would be cobblestone floors next to the uh, grandfather clock uh, like swing downward with the stone the cobblestones themselves like uh, swinging upward to create steps as it turns into stairs alright head inside alright as you uh, as you rush down, you can see to your left there is a door, and you can hear footsteps coming from that. Uh, but straight ahead, there is a much more fancy door. All right. And as you all uh, head uh, out there, or as you all head further into the hall, uh, the stairs behind you, uh close back up, though you do see there is another uh, key panel, uh, a keypad on the side of the wall uh, next to where the stairs will open. I thought Miranda said it led to an elevator. Fuck! That's my mistake. Yeah. I changed ah. it. I, okay, I had, in earlier versions I had an elevator, and then I switched it to stairs. It's stairs. It, it's supposed to be stairs. Just say, just assume Miranda misspoke. <laughs> that is okay. my B. My B, your B. <laughs> we all have Bs. Alright, but you do see the office straight ahead, as described. <laughs> office stairs. <sighs> All right, there's her wow. office. 
You don't see any locks. There's no keyhole. <laughs> All, All right. right. The rest of you mm -hmm. make yourself scarce. I'm gonna go and knock. Try and talk. All right. Oh, you're using Gift of the Gab? Yeah. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Okay, so... Uh, Razor, you should cast your pass without a trace. You done so. All right. All right, let's do our stealth checks. Yay. I'm gonna try that again to see if I can do better. I did. I did a little better. What was it? 23 for a total of 33. All right. 34. <laughs> 34. All right. And Katya. Always you... one more than me. Katya, you're just walking right in. Well, I'm knocking on the door. All right. Or so... actually, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll walk right in. All right. You just open the door. It swings open and you make a grand entrance, giving your, uh, uh, companion, like, with the all eyes focused on you as your companions, like, <laughs> dart inside and quickly hide behind some plants. Uh, what you see is an ornate desk, um, with some papers, uh, neatly laid on one side. Um, a leather chair in it being, is a elderly drow woman, um, who has a knife and fork in her hand, and it's seems she was in the middle of eating a uh, some grits, uh, some ham, uh, some uh, potato, uh, 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 some potato cubes, uh, and uh, some uh, uh, eggs. Um, and next to her is a calico cat, uh, which was in the middle of eating uh, some cooked fish. But both of them have stopped their eating and have all eyes on you. The elderly woman is wearing a elegant silken gown uh, with some uh, yellow lensed half moon spectacles. Uh, her hair is uh, white as the snow, and her skin is a deep purple, um, which accentuates the wrinkles of her old face. Madame Chardonnay, please pardon this in horrible intrusion, but I have information of the utmost importance that I have to tell you right this very moment. Your the voice say, it is young Chardonnay, and you will show me respect. However, the of drow's course, voice course. did not move. The, the, the drow's mouth did not move. The cat walks to the front, walks and sits at the edge of the desk and looks at you. And how may I be of service to you? On, I hope you do have something to... Make it worth interrupting my breakfast. I certainly and hope this... It is the cat I, I that is talking. I think I do. Yeah, K <laughs> Katya addresses the cat. She, All right. she, do she doesn't miss a beat. So mm -hmm. she uh, starts addressing the cat. I heard there is to be a hit on the clock tower tonight on the golden liquid I had smuggled in. The cat... They've got everything planned out. The cat cocks and... her head and says, And what golden liquid would you be referring to? I mean, this town typically deals in brass and bronze. Yes, but this is of the most nature. But after... Uh, you cut out. Oh, uh, the Taresk blood hidden under the clock tower. I, I heard whispers from the inn that there is a team of expert thieves here to take it from. I think the Chardonnay, the cat, uh, smiles 
it is trying to read you. Trying to figure out hmm, what to make of this interesting display. And I think that's where we'll call the session. <laughs> All right. That's a good suspenseful spot. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. So thank you, everybody. Half the for party doing a heist. <laughs> Crazy shit happening. Half the party's doing lookout. Half the party alley. is hiding behind, uh, <laughs> hiding behind uh, plants in the office, and how and the other party member is having all eyes on her <laughs> with lookout. a mafia boss. That is a cat. Lookout in quotes, and it's just it's just sushi and Corvus in an alley, just kind of like not sure what to do. Yeah. I mean, you're still listening in. Uh, so, yeah. uh, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, there's other stuff to have on the channel, uh, or to watch on the channel. I'm playing Pikmin with Biddy. Yeah. Pikmin. Yep. This time, the video quality was a lot better. Thank you, Discord. Yeah. Yep. There is also God of War to Ragnarok uh, being played by, by my boyfriend, Scraps. Um, there is... Uh oh, there should be Mario yeah. Wonder by the time this goes up. What a wonder. Uh and there's a it's Mario full. There's another tabletop <laughs> RPG that Chalkvi is running. If you'd like to describe I am that. Running the System Wasteland, the web novel of which went up Saturday. Yay. <laughs> Yep. The Saturday that's in the future for us in the present, but in the past for you in the present of this video being uploaded. Yeah. And then there's Tabletop Thursdays, where every Thursday we play Tabletop Simulator. But we record on Tuesdays. That's why that's that. That's why we take out the H. Yeah. Well, no. Yes. It, also because I'll gladly the alliteration play Tuesday for, for a tabletop on Thursday. I'll gladly tabletop Thursday. Well, I'll gladly table Thursday for a top Tuesday. <laughs> I, I know. Okay. Uh, You'll do a lot of things for a top <laughs> Tuesday, won't you? Uh, hey. Common challenge of the day. Common challenge. Uh, what is your favorite type of wood? I love cherry wood. I also like cherry wood. And I like pine smell, but only a little bit. I get overwhelmed. <laughs> But I do like it. Um, <laughs> bamboo is cool too. Yeah. Bamboo count as wood? Yeah. It's its, it's own grass. thing. It's grass. I say bamboo counts. That's thick grass. Right. Papyrus. I don't know. I like um. What are those woods with the stuff in them? What mahogany? Oh, rosewood's cool too. It's like bright red. Oh yeah, yeah. rosewood is really good. Mm -hmm. Joshua. Oh yeah, yeah rosewood like Joshua like... trees. Joshua trees. Are neat. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so with that out of the way, there's nothing left. I like to say, mahogany. But... Riftwood. Ah. Goodbye. With that out of the way, there's no left. Say back. Good night, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.